How do I wirelessly transfer video from pocket 3 to the other end? This section may be connected to OBS or Connect Video Switcher or connect to a TV. I'm going to introduce a special method today. This is DVB-T transmitter. This is also commonly known as the transmitter of digital TV. Then I'll adjust the channel now. It's 6 to 3 MHZ this channel. And then I just have to search for the TV on this side. When it scans for 6 to 3, it will appear. OK. You see, he scanned it. After sweeping, and then there is the video. But due to the DVB-T launcher, it was originally designed for this broadcast. It will have a higher latency. How to transfer DJI Pocket free wirelessly from one place to another? At present, there are many types of consumer play. For example, a wireless video transmission like 2.4G. When you're in everybody using this 2.4G channel at the time, you may be disturbed. If you don't want to be disturbed, then you may need to use special channels. For example, I use this transmitter called DVB-T. It's very interesting. It is the input of HDMI. Then you can adjust the channel of this modulation. Frequency is not only 6 MHz, but also 7 or 8. There's also the mode of modulation. It can also be adjusted. What 64 QAM? What a bunch of modulation parameters can be adjusted. It's very tough. The problem is his DVB-T modulator with HDMI input. It has to eat HDMI video. And then, connect to Pocket 3. It only has the output of a SPC. He couldn't take it. Then we need to convert DJI Pocket 3 to HDMI first. Then give this device. It turns this HDMI video out in tune. This is a video converter for USB cameras. I'll connect the USB of the Pocket 3 to this location. I use a SPC cable to my DJI Pocket 3. This one, you have to eat 5 volt power supply. This is on the DJI Pocket 3 screen. A signal from this USB camera will appear. Press it. This converter converts USB webcam to HDMI. And what about this HDMI output? I'm connected to the HDMI input of this DVB-T modulator. Then I give him a power supply. Then this one needs an antenna. RF out. That's when it will appear on the channel you want. But you can also adjust the channel you want on this. This can be changed. Preparer. Select advanced. Channel. Adjust what you want. And then your power. I'm now tuning to 0 dBm. There are also some parameters for this. The greater the number. It's less intrusive. He has a lot of options. I'm going to choose 1 to 16. Another important one is bandwidth. Take our Taiwan set top box is 6 MHZ. In Europe, it could be 7 or 8. After the adjustment, we can also adjust the bit rate of video streaming. This bit rate can be adjusted here. I'll adjust it a little higher. At this time, you're on TV. You just have to go and search. Let's search. You see you're getting 6 to 3. This is where the channel will appear. It's been searched. Look at this video. It's from the DJI Pocket 3. This kind of thing, its latency is very high. Because this kind of thing is designed for this TV station. 
The TV station is not delayed. What he wants is the quality of the image, and the spread is not far away. So he didn't care about delays. But you might mind the delay. We'll use this kind of thing to transmit. The main purpose of wireless transmission is to travel long distances. And then there is stability. Don't let it be disturbed. What about this one? You think of it as if it's on that station. A launcher. That one launcher is on it. At the same point in time, you can make many sets of this TV. All you need is a tunnel receiver. You will be able to receive such signals at the same time. Then this belongs to the category of digital broadcasting. That's it. So let's just say a question. You see our current DJI Cockpit 3. We are tuning into a horizontal mode. Then connect this, this modulator. So what if I say what will happen when I turn it to portrait today? Portrait mode. Me, if you watch your TV, it's going to be like this. You see it produces this left and right black bars. Is there a way to cut off the left and right black bars? I just render it full screen. And I'm on the back end of video switcher. I'll be able to get the full video. We can use this red box to make a setup. Just prepare a computer. There's also a transmission cable for this USB. The interface to this iOS. Then connect to your computer. Then type it in your computer's browser. Then select 90 degrees and you're good to go. Then the resolution here needs to be adjusted. Into a pick screen. Confirmation. Good. At this time, your TV will be in portrait mode. At this point, I just need to turn my TV to 90 degrees. Look at it. I will now place the Pocket 3 in portrait mode. It is transmitted to that side through the DVB-T's wireless transmitter received by TV. Then the TV will present a vertical screen mode about the transmission distance of this DVB-T transmitter. Many friends will think that say, isn't it okay for me to just increase the power all the way up? It's not that simple. In our space, you turn the power all the way up. On the contrary, it is not conducive to the stability of this transmission. You're going to pass it on, and it has to be stable enough. There is one thing that must be done, is that you have to set up this antenna as high as possible. I've done experiments, set this antenna very high, and it's an empty place. I'll just take a TV box and receive it. You can run about 500 meters. One kilometer is no problem. Please be careful. I'm using this rotten antenna right now. And I didn't add this power amplifier extra. We need to add this power amplifier. It's probably at this Halef watt. Everyone thought it was incredible. There's nothing wrong with Halef watt. Because this thing is just used for one-to-one -one transmission. So you can run about Halef watt. People say that you can run more than 10 kilometers. But this thing is a very professional. A science of RF. He has to be your antenna. And your power to make a match. There is a way to meet the requirements you want. It's a science. Of course, if you are just a simple one today, wirelessly transmitted, not so harsh, then you can do the experiment. You'll know the answer you want later. But it's not that simple. Just add a pure RF power amplifier and you're good to go. He has a match for many, many things. That's all over that. I'm going to introduce one today. It's a very special thing. Let everyone know. In fact, it is in addition to 2.4G. There's a lot of fun stuff out there. But I'll tell you about it. Because foreigners are playing with this kind of thing. The player, he wants to transmit this thing over a long distance. He's going to use that kind of thing.